Hi, I'm Val with Hammer in Hand out here at the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House. We'll talk about a little bit about mechanical systems and how they interface with the Passive House and how they interface with our air barrier specifically as we look at this piece of plumbing out here. This is a standard hose bib that's a frost protected hose bib. So the, the valve is actually back here. So when, when you shut it off, the water drains out from here out, standard stuff. And so we have to make sure that this gets in far enough, at least into the warmer part of the wall so that it's never gonna see freezing temperatures. But we also don't want this to carry, this big piece of copper to carry the heat or the cold into our heated space. So remember behind here, there's also a two by six wall cavity that's, that's about an R21. So this intersection is pretty much happening towards the center of the actual overall cavity. So beyond that, this being standard, the rest of it is fairly not standard. And you can see it kind of looks weird right now because it's sticking out so far. But you have to keep in mind that we have the rest of the wall cavity going on out here in the form of a Larson truss. And in this situation, there's an architectural detail. Typically, we would have our, our next layer of sheathing here to enclose our insulation cavity. And out beyond here, we would typically have a three quarter inch rain screen. In this case, the architect wanted to add some, some more texture to the building. And so they specified different depth rain screens. In this case, we have a three inch rain screen here. Up above at the gable, we have a five and a half inch rain screen. Uh, down below, we have a three quarter inch rain screen and various other parts of the houses, the rain screen ranges from three quarters of an inch to six inches, depending on where you're at. So, so what we did, we had our plumber rough this in with the block in because we knew we wouldn't be able to put the block on later and we didn't really want to cut the block in half and put it in later. So, so with the assistance of the cider and the plumber and myself, we figured out the depth to the back of the block and so the back of the block is where the rain screen is. So eventually the ciders will be building out behind us. What this, this leaves us able to do is when our weather resistive barrier goes on, we can actually, we like to seal all our penetrations. So if any water is coming down that barrier, it bypasses the pipe and keeps going instead of trying to go in the hole that the pipe creates. Now, if we look down here, we can see this is, again, this is our air barrier, which we've talked about quite a bit and how the plumbing penetrates the air barrier. And at this point, it's, it's just a, uh, standard PEX tubing. And what we'll do is we will air seal again with our liquid applied joint and seam around this to get a really good seal. And you know, we worked with our plumber to make sure that he's cutting us nice clean holes and not hacking this out with a sawzall or something. So some of the other details we have that are for our plumbing here is this is a basically a standard vent and it's going up through our top plate. And we roughed that in previously so we could air seal the above there where our air barrier comes across so we could air seal to the vent pipe. And that just goes through the roof deck like a standard vent. A lot of times if we can get away with it, we have to have a specific amount of vents going through the roof to meet plumbing code. But another item that we use is an air admittance valve or what other people might call a auto vent or a mechanical vent. And that is a one way valve that when your drain is draining, it opens up and allows the drain to flow by releasing the vacuum pressure, but it doesn't, if sewer gases are coming up, it closes and, and stays closed if it's not draining. And we have one over here that we can take a look at. So instead of take, taking this plumbing vent all the way through the roof like you normally would, we've, we've had our plumber install this air admittance valve here. And uh, that, again, like I explained, it just goes in there and allows it to vent without making any more penetrations in our air barrier.